All right, today we're going to be learning how to program with our TI-84 Plus or TI-84 Plus CE if you're lucky enough to have one of those. You should put your number of your calculator in the top right-hand corner of your page so that when you come into class on Monday or whenever you decide to come, not to mention any names, Billy, Jennifer, all right, you'll know what to do. You might want to watch this video if you uh, have, are having problems with programming. We're going to go over all the instructions of how to program all of our lines, all of our functions in the graphing calculator. So the very first thing that you need to do, everybody, is go to the calculator. Everybody hit second plus seven one two to clear everything out so we're all at the exact same place. All right? Then I need you to hit the program button. And I want you to go to the right twice where it says create new and press enter. You should see a place where it says name. Now, for this particular program, I would like it to be your name. So, how do you, now listen, here's how you do it. Second alpha is an alpha lock button. So, for example, if I wanted to type in, I don't know, maybe somebody who's not here today, not calling you out or anything. All right, so don't wanna. I wanna make sure. We'll just say we'll just call it Dilla. All right, we don't want to call anybody's name out. You know, what do you do? That kind of looks like Dilla to me. Oh, Dilla. All right, as you no, said it. Yeah, no, right, we might as well just we'll just finish it. There's nobody named that in this class, anyways. You know, right? Yeah. So we'll press Enter. So now this is the program we're going to start building. Okay, so you should have your name, and then you press Enter to get to the screen. All right. The very first thing that I would like us to do is I would like you to hit second program number one, enter. Now, CL draw is clear any drawings. So what, that you want to start off with that so that when you run the program, any drawings that were on the screen will be cleared before you start drawing your picture. Now, the very first function, everybody, in your journal, by the way, I want you guys to right now write in your journal, our very first function was what? y equals 3x plus 32, and the domain was between a negative 9 and a negative 11. So I want us to go over here. How do we write this in the, dra in the graphing calculator? Oh, welcome. It's so good to see you today. How are you, sir? All right, so we'll get you caught up here in just a second. All right, this was our first line, and this is our domain. So in the graphing calculator, we are going to see this word, and I'll show you how to get there in just a second, but in your journal, I want you guys to write draw F. Now, this is how you get draw F. Now, write this down. Don't type it in. You're writing this down right now. You're going to hit second program. Okay, second program, and I believe this is number six. Second program, number six, will get you to this thing that says draw F. Now, F means function. It's going to draw a function. When you do this, you're going to open up two parentheses. You're going to type in your function. Our function is 3x plus 32, and then you're going to close that parentheses like that. Right now, remember, all we're doing is writing this down, then we'll type it in together. Okay? So right now you're just writing in your journal. You're going to do divided by, open parentheses. We're going to say x has to be greater than or equal to a negative 11, and x has to be less than or equal to negative 9. Now I'm going to explain to you how to be able to type all that in your graphing calculator. The way you get the symbol greater than or equal to is you're going to hit second, math, and then I believe it's number four. Second, math, number four. If I'm wrong, then I will correct myself, but I believe it's second, math, number four to get that symbol. To get the word and, you hit second, then you hit the math button. 
Then you move the right arrow to where you find the word logic. And then you press enter, which is the number one button. You press enter and that becomes the, it'll type in the word and for you. Okay? How do you get the less than or equal to sign? You hit second. Math. <laughs> and I believe it's number six to get the less than or equal to sign. All right? Now, after you do this, open parentheses and you close the parentheses, you're going to do a final closing of the parentheses because we opened it twice, so at the very end you have to close it twice. Okay, now that you've written this down in your journal, we're going to follow the steps together. So I'm going to go to my graphing calculator right here. Right here, I need to write the words draw function. So the instructions are second, program, number six. And it says draw F, draw function. You're going to open up two parentheses. After you open up the parentheses twice, plus two, three, X, plus 32, close the parentheses. What I've done right now, is I plugged in my first function. You don't do y equals because the, actually that draw function is your, your thing. Draw y equals this. Okay? So this right here is your function that you're typing into the graphic. Alright, so after this, you're going to hit divided by. Open parentheses. You're going to type in an x. Now how do we get the greater than or equal to sign? You get second math, and I said number four, and I was right. Greater than or equal to negative 11. Okay? All right? Now, after you put greater than or equal to negative 11, you have to write the word what? And. So we hit second, math, right arrow, logic, and press enter, and you get the word and. All right? Now, we have to hit X. It's now less than or equal to. So we hit second, math, number six, less than or equal to a negative nine. And we close the parentheses twice. Very important that you close the parentheses twice or you will get an error. And press N. Now, what we've done is we've, dra we've graphed our very first function with the domain of all x values greater than or equal to negative 11 and less than or equal to negative 9. Every single one of your functions you're going to have a greater than or equal to some number and less than or equal to some number. Every single time. So you're going to get used to the keystrokes. They'll, they'll be alright. Now, we're going to show you guys what this looks like on your graphing calculator right now. So right now I'm in second mode. We're going to change our window. So right here, window. We're going to change our x minimum to negative 12 and our x maximum to positive 12 because we know we have to go from what, a negative 11 to a negative 9 and we wouldn't be able to see our whole graph yet. So right now, negative 12 to positive 12. It's second mode once you've done that. Then go to program. Find your name. So right now, remember, I made the program of Dylan. You weren't here, so you're recording. Make sure you know what to do. We're going to press enter, and I'm going to run the program named as Dylan. And this is the first section of our fat wing. All right, I'm going to pause it and see if you guys have that on your. This is what you should see on your screen. Now, how do we get back to our program? Follow the instructions. You hit program again. You go to the right where it says edit, and I'm going to go down to number six, and I'm going to go down to the very bottom where the colon is. All right? And now we're going to do our next line. We're going to draw our next function. So watch. Second program, number six. We're going to draw our next function. What did we always start it with? Um, two open parentheses is correct. Very good. Now, our next function. Can anybody tell me my next function? Raise your hand. Andrew, go. Negative 3 divided by 5x minus what? 
two fifths, good. Close parentheses. So right now, everybody type it. Matt, this is the negative sign. That's not a minus sign. That's a negative sign. That's a minus sign. I don't know. But that's a negative sign. That's the subtraction key. All right? So once you have that in, what are we going to do? We're going to hit divided by open parentheses. Once again, you're going to start with an X. Then we have to do what? Greater than or equal to, which is second math number four. Then we have to type the word and, which is second math, right arrow, enter it. Oh, I forgot the number. Oh, what happens if you forget the number? You don't have to delete. Let me show you a cool little trick you can do if you forget to type something in. I'm glad I made a mistake accidentally. So we go back here. Correct? This is where you need to put in a number? What do we want to put in there? What here? What do we want to put in? Negative 9. Now, here's how you insert it. Hit second delete. Not delete, but second delete. And it's telling me right here I want to do what? Insert. I want to insert a negative 9 right there. So I have a negative 9 inserted right there. Now I have the word and, and I'm going to put x is less than or equal to, which is second math number 6. And I want it to be a negative 4, correct? Negative 4. I'm going to close the parentheses Ooh. twice. I'm going to press enter. And if you did all of this correctly, you will have the next section of your back wing that we are creating. So watch this. To test it, hit second mode. Scroll up to your name where it says program with googly moogly, or whatever your name is. Press enter. And one more time, watch. And the next part. Right. Awesome. Next. Now that we have two sections of the back wing created, now the next part is going to be a vertical line, which is not a function because it's a vertical line and that does not pass the vertical line test. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you do is you hit the program button, move to the right to edit. I'm going down to number six, and I'm scrolling all the way down to where I have an open slot to build a program. Whenever you have a vertical line, do not draw F because you cannot draw a function because it's a vertical line. So therefore, okay. second program number two. No. Oh, yes. So make sure you have the word line. Now listen, if you look at point C and point D on your paper, Jake, could you tell me point C on your paper, the ordered pair for point C? Negative 4 and 2. And then point D is negative 4 and 6. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, in your journal right now, write down how to draw a vertical line. All right? How to draw a vertical line. Write the word in your journal, line, with an open parentheses, bless you. And then you're going to do negative 4, comma, 2, comma, negative 4, comma, 6. You are using the ordered pairs to create your line. This is how you type it into your graphing calculator. So write that down in your journal, and then we will write it together as a class. Now that you have it in your journal, what I'd like you to do is right here where it says line, I'd like you to type in a negative 4. Here's the comma. Right there. There's the comma. 2. Comma. There's the comma right here. Right there. Negative 4, comma, 6, close parentheses, press enter, and that is the line, negative 4, comma, 2, and the point, negative 4, comma, 6, that's the line that's going to create between those two points. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check to see if it works. Second mode, I'm going to scroll up to my program known as Dylan. It's an awesome program. Of parts of a bat wing. And watch it goes up. Voila! There is the beginning of the form of the head of your bat. You have to follow all of your functions and type them in correctly. If you do it, you will create your bat. If you do it incorrectly, it will say error. If there's an error, you'll see where it says quit or go to. Click where it says go to and it will take you directly to where the error is located. Let me show you real quick. Well, not on the video, but good thing you're in class. 